The next type of graph we're going to talk about is a frequency polygon. A frequency polygon is a type of graph that looks a little bit similar to a line graph, but it is a different type of graph. The first thing we would do when making one is give it a title. Remember, this applies to all types of graphs we're doing in this class. Second, label the y-axis with frequency, then place the class marks onto the x-axis, but make sure to include extra class marks above and below the first and last classes, and label it with the appropriate units. We'll talk a little bit more about what this means when we get to an example. Three, plot a point for each class's frequency and connect them like you would a line graph. The extra class marks will have a frequency of zero and they need to be included. One way that you can remember to include these extra classes is just by remembering the definition of what a polygon is, is it's a closed figure with straight edges. Our graph is going to end up making a polygon, and in order for our graph to make a polygon, you need to include the extra class marks. So now let's construct a frequency polygon with the data from the last example. So we can give this one the same title, exam grades, because that's still the same type of data. And we'll draw our y and x axis and then do everything else we need to. Now that we have our axes set up, our lowest class before, or lowest class mark before, was 44.5. The class below that for grades between 30 to 39 would have a class mark of 34.5. So that's going to be our one class below. Then all other classes we're going to label the same way. Now the 104.5 I'm going to leave here because this already has a frequency of zero. If it didn't have a frequency of zero, we would need to find an extra class above that one. The reason I'm leaving it here now, even though we already found it and it was on the table, is because this technically is an extra class above. So these extra classes both have a frequency of zero, so we're going to plot points on both of them with a frequency of zero. Now for all of the other classes, they're going to get a point plotted wherever their class frequency was. So our grade in, so 44.5 had a frequency of 1, so they get a point over there. 54.5 had a frequency of 2, so they get a dot over here. 64.5 had a frequency of 4, so their dot is here. 74.5, frequency of 7. It's so all the way up here, and 84.5, frequency of 4, and 94.5 had a frequency of 2. So now that we've placed all of these dots, we need to connect them together. And you want to connect these together with a straight line. Make sure you have an ID card or a ruler with you when you're doing your homework so your lines look all right. And now at this point we have finished our frequency polygon. Now the polygon part of the frequency polygon is made by the lines that we've drawn here and the x-axis. So notice that this is a closed figure and all of the sides of it are straight. If we were in Microsoft Paint right now and we used the Paint Bucket tool, we could fill all of this in and it would be one color. The most common mistake people make when doing frequency polygons is forgetting to add the extra classes below and above and just drawing something that looks more like a line graph. If we didn't have these two lines here, this is not a polygon, this is just a line segment floating in space above the x-axis. We need the lines in order for it to be considered a frequency polygon.